Welcome back to our LMOps video series. This is episode 4 of the series, and this is the last episode to cover the building and augmenting loop. You will learn various metrics that can be used to evaluate LLM flows uh, built with prompt flow and how to run evaluation flows in Azure Studio. So um, advancements in language models such as OpenAI's GPT-4 and Llama 2 uh, come with challenges related to responsible AI. Uh, if not designed carefully, these models can perpetuate biases, misinformation, uh, manipulate content, and other harmful outcomes. Identifying, measuring, and mitigating potential harms associated with these models requires an iterative, multi-layered approach. Of course, traditional ML metrics can be helpful when we want to quantify the um, accuracy of the generated output to the expected output. However, in many cases, it's important to tackle a variation from multi, uh, multiple angles, using AI-assisted metrics to measure the, the quality or safety of the answer. Quality refers to attributes such as uh, groundedness, uh, relevance, uh, coherence, and fluency of the answer, while safety refers to metrics such as self-harm, sexual, or violence. Um, Azure AI Studio supports several distinct paths for uh, Gen AI app developers to evaluate their applications. Ambition you can share um, um, using the variation flows in PromptFlow. Wonderful. Thank you, Takodo. As you mentioned, uh, uh, being in the field, I have, uh, I've been helping a lot of customers with, with so many projects. And uh, every project, there is uh, uh, a challenge of uh, tuning these prompts and getting the right answers, that's where customers are spending a lot of time. And uh, evaluating the prompt, uh, you know, prompts using the prompt flow, I think it's a great way to accelerate the, uh, you know, uh, the uh, customer uh, projects and uh, deployments and so on. And uh, I will demonstrate how to do the uh, evaluation uh, of the prompts using prompt flow. So I have, I have the, the the sales uh, prompt flow that uh, that I built uh, that I demoed in the previous uh, videos, and uh, in order to evaluate the prompts, and you, everywhere there is a call to the 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 large language model like uh, GPT four, and you have the option to create the variants. So the variants include basically various uh you know various uh, system messages that you can send uh various uh, uh, settings like temperatures and uh, uh, probabilities various models and function calling you have the flexibility to create various uh, variants and you evaluate those uh, these prompts using those uh, the variations uh, models like temperature settings system message and so on and creating the variants is pretty easy. So you would have something like here, like generate variants. And once you click on it, it will bring up a, uh, another screen where you can specify up to five variants and just click a button and then it creates them. And then you can use this button, show variants, which will show you those individual variants. Like there is a default one, which is variant zero and uh, you will see I have a setting, temperature setting as zero and probability as one and so on. I have a system message and as I scroll down, I will see the other variant, the variant one, where I have a different temperature setting. So variant one, I have a temperature as 0.5 and probability as 0.9 and see a completely different system message. So you can have the combinations like this and and then once you have it, you can start evaluating it. So you can do that by using this uh, this button here. There is a built-in evaluation functions that uh, Takoto mentioned, uh, like uh, uh, the groundedness, relevancy, and so on. You know, how we do this is basically start with a name, a name for the evaluation, and you have a, a single turn uh, Q&A page that you can do. And you can also apply the rag as well. Uh, while evaluating and you can let's say if I'll pick this option and in the next screen it will show me uh, the which flow you want to evaluate which uh, 
with call to the large language model this flow has two variants uh, 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 and uh, let's say um, maybe more than that you would pick that and the variants that you want to uh, evaluate and and then it will show you all the possible metrics that you can use on this evaluation like takuta mentioned groundedness that tells you how well the the information is is grounded to the data sources that you uh, that you are using for example those vector uh, embeddings relevancy is the question that is coming the the uh, the response that is coming from the llm model is it really relevant to my question and the retrieval score like is it efficiently able to retrieve the uh, the, uh, the response from my grounded data so once you select the the metrics that you want to see and you can upload some existing data with all the uh, all the correct answers so it could be like this for example combination of the question what is uh, you know this is question and what is the what is the question what is the right answer for that which is truth and uh, you can leave this as uh, as as blank and i have like 10 12 questions here i will be using this data to evaluate the prompt flow against the, the responses that come from my the, uh, large language models. So once I select that and it'll, there are a couple of more screens, you can, you can uh, continue with that. And there is a documentation that explains uh, you know, what parameters to choose and so on. But for the purpose of demo, I'll show you uh, how the evaluation looks like. So once I submit it, it'll take some time to you know, run through all those 12 questions and evaluate them and you will see the results in here you can see the the batch runs that i that i did all the runs that i did in the in the past so for example if you click on this it will show me and all of them here and uh, since i had three variants in my prompt flow it shows me all three and i can click on this and i can see the metrics uh, uh, individually for example like uh, how many tokens were processed, how much time it took, and so on. And you can see more detailed information if I click on this. And there is also the evaluation tab where you can see uh, the same uh, evaluation information. So if I click on the evaluation tab, it will show me all the, the batch evaluation that I did. And it will show me a nice nicely all those metrics like for this variant how much was the groundedness this average groundedness average relevancy average retrieval score you see these these metrics are different because i used different parameters like temperature setting different settings different system message so it's giving me that average score based on that and the, the beauty here is you can also compare uh, the these runs you know to select uh, these these variants and you can go to compare you'll have a nice table that that shows you the comparison between these uh, if i click on maximize here it will give me how much was the, uh, the groundedness among all the three variants variant one variant uh, 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 you know variant zero and, and so on you see uh, nicely like how what's changing so that you can go back to your prompt flow and you can uh, you can fine tune, change the uh, those settings, change the system messages, and so on. Make sure uh, you know the accuracy uh, is improved. Uh, so these scores are between one and five. So your goal is to get it to five as much as possible. That way, your model is behaving as designed. And uh, Takuto also mentioned about the content uh, uh, safety as well. So safety is a uh, uh, is uh, uh, can be embedded into the models in the content filter section where uh, you can now uh, you can specify exactly uh, you know uh, these uh, safety metrics such as violence and hate sexual and so on and uh, you can tie these uh, automatically to these models so for example if i go to my uh, deployment uh, such as i was using gpt4 uh, model and uh, it, it's already uh, you know i picked the default content filter which i picked the content filter metrics and every time i make a call to this uh, 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 the uh, gpt4 model it it follows those guidelines and it, uh, it tries to uh, you know restrict the information if it follows into those categories 
in the next video we will show you how to or deploy these models as endpoints and you, and how we can uh, uh, you know monitor these endpoints at scale for all these uh, these metrics such as groundedness relevancy uh, uh, accuracy and so on